Job 8, 1 through 10. Then Bilzad the Shuhite answered and said, How long will you speak these things and the words of your mouth be like a strong wind? Does God subvert judgment, or does the Almighty pervert justice? If your sons have sinned against Demias, cast them away for their transgression. If you would earnestly seek God and make your supplication to the Almighty, if you are pure and upright, surely now he would awake for you and prosper your rightful dwelling place. Though your beginning was small, yet your latter end would increase abundantly. For I inquire pleased of the former age and consider the things discovered by their fathers. For we were born yesterday and know nothing, because our days on earth are a shadow. Will they not teach you and tell you in utter words from their heart? Job 9, 1 through 10. Then Job answered and said, Truly I know it is so, but how can a man be righteous before God? If one wished to contend with him, he could not answer him one time out of a thousand. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has hardened himself against him and prospered? He removes the mountains, and they do not know when he overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and its pillars tremble. He commands the sun, and it does not rise. He seals off the stars. He alone spreads out the heavens and treads on the waves of the sea. He made the bear, Orion, and the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south. He does great things past finding out. Yes, wonders without number. Job 14, 1-10 Man who is born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. He comes forth like a flower and fades away. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. And do you open your eyes on such a one and bring me to judgment with yourself? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one. Since his days are determined, the number of his months is with you. You have appointed his limits so that he cannot pass. Look away from him that he may rest, till like a higher man he finishes his day. For there is hope for a tree, if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its tender shoots will not cease. Though its root may grow old in the earth, and its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth branches like a plant. But man dies and is laid away. Indeed, he breathes his last, and where is he? Job 15, 1-10 then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, Should a wise man answer with empty knowledge and fill himself with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk or by speeches with which he can do no good? Yes, you cast off fear and restrain prayer before God. For your iniquity teaches your mouth and you choose the tongue of the crafty. Your own mouth condemns you and not I. Yes, your own lips testify against you. Are you the first man who was born, or were you made before the hills? Have you heard the counsel of God? Do you limit wisdom to yourself? What do you know that we do not know? What do you understand that is not in us? Both the gray-haired and the aged are among us, much older than your father. Job 20, 1-10 Then Zophar the Namathite answered and said, Therefore my anxious thoughts make me answer, because of the turmoil within me. I have heard the rebuke that reproaches me, and the spirit of my understanding causes me to answer. Do you not know this of old, since man was placed on earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment? Though his haughtiness mounts up to the heavens, and his head reaches to the clouds, Yet he will perish forever like his own refuse. Those who have seen him will say, Where is he? He will fly away like a dream and not be found. Yes, he will be chased away like a vision of the night. The eye that saw him will see him no more, nor will his place behold him any more. His children will seek the favor of the poor, and his hands will restore his wealth. Job 21, 1 through 10. Then Job answered and said, Listen carefully to my speech, and let this be your consolation. Bear with me that I may speak, and after I have spoken, keep mocking. As for me, is my complaint against man? And if it were, why should I not be impatient? Look at me and be astonished. Put your hand over your mouth. 
Even when I remember, I am terrified, and trembling takes hold of my flesh. Why do the wicked live and become old? Yes, become mighty in power. Their descendants are established with them in their sight, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of God upon them. Their bull breeds without fail failure, their cow calves without miscarriage. Job 22, 1 through 10. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, can a man be profitable to God, though he who is wise may be profitable to himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that you are righteous? Or is it gain to him that you make your ways blameless? Is it because of your fear of him that he corrects you and enters into judgment with you? Is not your wickedness great and your iniquity without end? For you have taken pledges from your brother for no reason, and stripped the naked of their clothing. You have not given the weary water to drink, and you have withheld bread from the hungry. But the mighty man possessed the land, and the honorable man dwelt in it. You have sent widows away empty, and the strength of the fa fatherless was crushed. Therefore snares are all around you, and sudden fear troubles you. Job 26, 1-10 through 10. But Job answered and said, How have you hold him who is without power? How have you saved the arm that has no strength? How have you counseled one who has no wisdom? And how have you declared sound advice to many? To whom have you uttered words, and whose spirit came from you? The dead tremble, those under the waters and those inhabiting them. Sheol is naked before him, and destruction has no covering. He stretches out the north over empty space. He hangs the earth on nothing. He binds up the water in his thick clouds, yet the clouds are not broken under it. He covers the face of his throne and spreads his cloud over it. He drew a circular horizon on the face of the waters, at the boundary of light and darkness. Job 33, 1-10 But please, Job, hear my speech and listen to all my words. Now I open my mouth, my tongue speaks in my mouth. My words come from my upright heart. My lips utter pure knowledge. For the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath, no. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. If you can answer me, set your words in order before me. Take your stand. Truly I am as your spokesman before God. I also have been formed out of clay. Surely no fear of me will terrify you, nor will my hand be heavy on you. Surely you have spoken in my hearing, and I have heard the sound of your words saying, I am pure without transgression, I am innocent, and there is no iniquity in me. Yet he finds occasions against me, he counts me as his enemy. Job 36, 1-10 Elihu also proceeded and said, Bear with me a little, and I will show you that there are yet words to speak on God's behalf. I will fetch my knowledge from afar. I will ascribe righteousness to my Maker. For truly my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. Behold, God is mighty, but despises no one. He is mighty in strength of understanding. He does not preserve the life of the wicked, but gives justice to the oppressed. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous, but they are on the throne with kings, for he has seated them forever, and they are exalted. And if they are bound in fetters, held in the cords of affliction, then he tells them their work and their transgression, that they have acted defiantly. He also opens their ear to instruction and commands that they turn from iniquity.